Major Slack Attack. Hey, welcome back to Major Slack Attack, your first stop for strategic starfield gameplay. Uh, where we last left off, we just finished putting the landing bay on the Razor Leaf in the front. And the Major Slack Research and Development Department just sent me a big to-do list with this big warning saying, do not deviate from this to-do list. So I'm not going to deviate it. I've got to download it onto my laptop and I'm just going to follow this. Got a lot of important stuff to do. Let's get busy. First thing, get skills, astrodynamics in science and payloads. Yep, it's a good idea. Okay, so um, payloads. Ship cargo holds have 10% more capacity and the challenge here involved is make 10 grab jumps with 75% or more of maximum cargo capacity. This you can do concurrently with another skill in science, astrodynamics. Increased grab jump range of jump, jump drives by 15% and the challenge here is to simply make 5 grab jumps. So you can do those grab jumps and earn um, challenge points in 2 skills at once. 2, two skills at once, yeah. That's right, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, so payloads, rank 1, and astrodynamics, rank 1. Next. This may seem a little weird, but I need to get 50 aluminum, 50 cobalt, 50 iron, and 50 nickel, which is why I set up these containers here, just like this, so I can easily do this. And the reason why we're doing this is because we need to load up the razor leaf up to 75% capacity. See, I'm deviating from the... Uh... <laughs> no, actually, these are um, some notes that the research and development department did not modify according to the new plan. Yeah, we're going to mod the ship first, and this is going to bring our weight down. So let's do this. You're not following the plan, Slack. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm making my modifications to the plan already. No, this is a good idea. Got to make mods to the ship first. We got to get it combat ready. Okay, all we did last time was move the landing bay to the front. Now we got to get it combat ready because the second last quest in the Free Star Rangers quest line, which is what we're going to do, we're going to continue that quest line so we can get our hands on the Star Eagle spaceship. Okay, that's the whole point of this. Um, the second last quest or mission in that mission line involves a ridiculously tough dogfight in space with like five or six um, other enemy ships at once. I have done this with the default Razor Leaf, but it wasn't pretty. It wasn't pretty. So um, let's make some very cheap modifications to the Razor Leaf so we can get ready for that. I don't recommend doing anything else because like I said, we're gonna get a much better ship, right? For free. Okay, so looking at the R&D department's notes on how to mod the ship. We're in the ship builder. Bring it on around. Let's zoom in to the weapons at the back. Let's rip off this. Select the weapon mount and the weapon. Rip off that. And we want to bring these forward to the sides of the docking bay. Temporarily. Next, delete the cockpit completely. Add the samurai cockpit. This is a completely personal choice. You can add any kind of cockpit you like that will fit with what I'm about to do next. Just scroll all the way down to the bottom. I recommend the samurai cockpit with a wide view in front. Okay, this one will give you more cargo space, but I'm going to go with this one. This is a little cheaper. Okay, next. Add the Nova Cowling. Delete the Cowling. Here we go. Here's the Cowling. Delete that. Add the Nova Cowling 1LTF. So that would be over in Structural. There's a little Structural. Scroll right on down to get to the Nova Cowlings. And we're looking for this bad boy right here. Nova Cowling 1LTF with three weapon mounts. Put that sucker on. Next. Delete lasers and assign weapons to W0. Delete lasers. Yeah. Here's the lasers that are on the landing gear in the front, so delete these, delete that, assign weapons, and assign these Disruptor 3, 3, 3300A 
auto electric beams, which are going to go to weapon zero just to keep the game happy. And I believe that's all we're going to do here. Yep. Out we go. And that should cost 1,222 credits. Exactly. All right. Do it to it. Accept. Out we go. Now we're going to New Atlantis because they have other parts there that our shipbuilder at the on the landing pads does not have. So over to Alpha Centauri. Zoom in. Jemison. New Atlantis. Okay. Got anything you need to offload? Trade authority is always by. Kiosk right here for you. Why you? Doing a walk through here. And he's our new captain. Okay, no problem. Shipbuilder. Alright, here we are in Atlantis. Mr. Laptop says delete the disruptor autos. Yes, that's a good idea. So these which came with the razor leafers is gonna delete them. And these weapon mounts here have, these Horizon weapon mounts have two weapon mounts on them, on two on each side. So we're going to add some better um, particle beam weapons, which would be these ones here. A fine difference between the name, but yeah, these are the ones you want here. Disruptor 3300 Electron Beam, not these ones, these ones, okay? So add four of those, two on each side. Swing it on around to the other side. Very good. Next. We want to add the EMP-80 suppressors to the cowling, to the three weapon points, weapon mounts on the cowling. Okay, scroll all the way to the top. We're looking for the, this one right here. These EM weapons. This is going to be really useful. Okay, EM-80 suppressor. One there. One here, and one here, and I believe that is it. Delete disruptors, add disruptors, add EMP, W0 to the disruptors, W1 to the suppressors, and that's it. So let's just assign the weapons, W0 to the disruptors, that's your primary weapon, and W1 to the suppressors, that's our secondary weapon. Disruptor, suppressor, we're good. And you're gonna get a warning. And it should cost 21,326 credits. For some reason it's costing, oh, looking at my notes, 21,336 credits, exactly. All right, and that is it. We only have one warning about uh, a missing weapon assignment. We can safely ignore that. And we are out. Confirm, accept, there we go, so. Our Razor Leaf is now combat ready and all in. This cost us 22,558 credits. Real cheap. Dirt cheap. I mean, there's some, you know, there's some rifles and pistols that cost more than that. And as you can see, all my weapons are in the front and there's no, none of the lines of fire are interrupted. But um, let me just uh, say once and for all, okay. I don't give a rat's ass, okay, repeat, rat's ass about whether my ship physically makes sense, you know, like if there's engines blocking other stuff, whatever. I don't give a rat's ass about that, okay? As long as it passes inspection in the game, that's good enough for me, okay? So please, no more comments about how my ship doesn't make sense, you know, like somebody said, well, the landing gear is all in the front, you know. Um, come on now. Um, the game has aliens in it, okay? And it has the ability to build outposts on hostile moon environments. There's so many other things in the game that suspend belief. Why not suspend belief for whether this ship makes physical, like, obeys the laws of physics or not? I mean, come on. Let's, let's stop being ridiculous, guys, okay? <laughs> Okay, and I'm just gonna like, you know, add that this particular grab drive, okay, I've been uh, contacted by Relodyne that the R1000 Alpha grab drive has a special anti-gravity property 
so that if you put all your landing gear in the front it will easily suspend the rear end because of this anti-gravity property they told me that personally okay so if you have any issues with there's no landing gear in the back of my ship it's covered by this all right look it up seriously all right <laughs> okay we're out of here uh, next prepare for grab jumping that's a good idea everything looks good here I'll be at my booth if you need me. so we got to go into space Here's our new cockpit. It's beautiful, eh? I love this cockpit. And let's just have a little nappy poo. Get the well rested bonus. And. Yep, great. Just as I suspected, after making all those modifications, the cargo hold is now down to just below 400 so 75% let's just round off the 400 so 75% of 400 is obviously 300 all right so next stop would be um, let's go into space first So, um, we want to start grab jumping. I'm not going to optimize for grab jumping though, because I suspect there might be trouble over bezel, bezel 3B. So, I'm going to optimize for combat, just in case. And only have one spare for grab jumping. Let's take one out of engine. Okay, so just like that. Um, particle beams full on, one one bar and engine, shield full on, and one spare power bar for grav. All right, and we're gonna bring the engines down to zero. And we're gonna grab jump to bezel 3B. We normally would just fast travel there, but why waste a grab jump? Okay, so bezel, set course, bezel, jump. It's all clear here. Bring it on out. Let's land at the outpost. All right, now we want to get the capacity of the cargo hold up to 75% or above. And like I said, that would be 300. Okay, so it's currently at round that out to 400. We bring, need to bring it up above 300. And it makes sense to do this with something that we'll actually, we can actually use as we're in our travels. So let's load up on 50 cobalt. Basically everything that we have here at our disposal. 50 cobalt, 50 nickel. So as we're about out and about, if we ever need any aluminum, cobalt, nickel, or iron, we have it on board. Seems that we have a large supply of all these. And I think I'm going to take one extra aluminum. Why slack? You'll see why. And finally, 50 iron.
Okay, checking my resources. 51 aluminum, 50 cobalt, 50 iron, and 50 nickel. Let's just send all this to the ship. Send all resources. Our carry weight is good. Let's check the ship. And the ship's cargo hold is above 300, so it's above 75% capacity. So now we can start earning challenge points in payloads. Mission accomplished. And I believe I am now back on track with my notes. That is correct. That is correct. Okay, uh, all we have to do is land at the lodge. Yep, everything's good. Okay, let's grab jump to... Whoops, what are you doing there, Mr. Fumblefingers? Put that away. We want to go back to New Atlantis. Let's not waste a grab jump. So instead of just fast traveling there, set course, jump. This is United Colony Space. Maintain current course while we scan for contraband. Scan complete. You're cleared to land at New Atlantis. All right, let's check our skill progress. First of all, payloads. We got one, that is correct. And in astrodynamics, you'd have two. We have three. I expected that to be ahead a little bit. All right, let's land. And we're going to the lodge. Down into the basement of the lodge. Why, right, thank you. Okay, in the basement of the lodge, turn on your flashlight. Go down this way. Hang a left and look on the shelf right here. You're going to see Governor's First Meeting Agenda. Grab that. Right. Off goes the flashlight. And I should have warned everybody to get a couple of other resources that are necessary. We're going to. Make a slight mod to modification to the our pistol. Right now it's just got the iron sight on it. Recon scope are gonna need optic and laser mods three. This is gonna need optic and laser mods one, but we can put the reflex sight on it. This will require one aluminum, one chloral silanes, and one adhesive. If you don't have these, you're gonna have to buy them somewhere. I happen to have a lot of them and that's why I bought one extra aluminum okay so let's put that on that's a lot better that's a lot better all right very good next by the way mr. laptop you didn't have notes on that better apologize <laughs> I had to remember that by you know using my uh, 64 year old memory okay next um da, 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 we did that did that neon out to space let's not waste a grab jump instead of fast traveling to voli let's jump there this is free star collective space hold while we scan your ship Okay, and I'd just like to mention the reason why I, I kill the engines instead of like you see my my max speed I kill it completely because when you're grab jumping around if you jump into a like a hot landing zone quote end quote often you can get away with the enemies not even noticing you at first if you're not moving so that's why it's best to jump into these hot landing zones with your engines dead okay that's why I do that and we're gonna land here at uh, Neon Core.
And I forgot to mention that I, I did... I did hustle up some skill points, so if you're following the walkthrough closely, um, I believe we uh, have one skill point where we last left off. So I hustled up two more skill points to have three skill points at my disposal. So you can easily do that using the Bessel 3 Outpost um, XP and Money Farm. Alright, and let's check our progress. Astro Astrodynamics should be one short, and we should have one more in payloads. Yep, that is correct, so everything's going perfectly. Uh, we are now going to Emporium. It's right there beside Seacart's Outfitters, right next door. You see there, Emporium. Emporium, that's where we're going. Okay, I'm going to make an expensive purchase here. I'll explain why later. All of our items are guaranteed exclusive goods for down here to notes and you're looking for this Solomon's calculations it's gonna cost you pretty, a pretty penny but you're gonna make it back and then some okay so buy that done and done it was good to have you in my shop farewell <laughs> okay and finally let's get back to the Freestar Rangers quest line quest Faction where hope is built. Go to Paul Vol's orbit. Mr. Map, where is that? It is at Narion. Wrong one. It's actually at Valo. So let's set course, not waste a jump. Mayday! Mayday! This is Free Star Ranger Nia Kalu. If anyone is hearing this, system's failing. Need help. I repeat, need help. This is Freestar Collective Space. Hold while we scan your ship. All right, that's it. Welcome to Hope Town. Okay, um, that's our objective right there. Let's pump some points into engines so we can get there quickly. All right, punch it, Chewie. Here we go. And before I forget, take those points out of engine. Out of engines, I say, is slack, and pump them back into particle beam. Pump that all the way up like that. Get ready for combat. And let's dock. And on board we go. Okay, so we're answering a distress call. named Nia is in trouble. She's down there. So see what's up. What? Oh, what? Right here. Get off. Nia, what's up? Please tell me you're here to help. Not to try and steal my ship. No, no, no. The marshal sent me to find you. Um, in fact, I need your help. <laughs> you need my help. Uh, I'd laugh if it didn't hurt so much. I was tracking a crew of outlaws that's been preying on merchant ships. Bastards got the drop on me. I ran them off, but they got a few good hits in. As you can see, I ain't in much shape to make repairs. Okay, well, I'll see if I can get you flying again. Just patch her up enough to get to Hopetown. The rest can get fixed up there. I'm on it. Thanks. I owe you one. You certainly do. Okay, so, um, because she owes us one, we're going to loot her ship first. <laughs> Here's the cargo hold, and I'm going to take all that stuff. It's not stealing. She's made it available for us. Oh, white hot ammo. Grab all that. Should be a med pack here somewhere. Grab that. And... Let's go to the back of the ship. 
find the two lockers. There's probably nothing in them. But take the door to the left of the lockers. This may be complete. It is completely random, but there may be a good book here you can bring back to um, St. Clair books. Unfortunately, it's a Dickens book, and she doesn't like Dickens books, but this is completely random, so make sure you check here. Yeah, it's a Dickens. Dickens with the Dickens. All right, and what else? What else is in here, Mr. Laptop? First aid. Oh, we can sleep. Always sleep. Keep that well rested bonus charged up. Get the first aid here. And there's some other like you know little chump loot here and there. I'm not going to bother with that. Um, back here is our first repair job. And there's some ammo around the corner here. Make sure you grab this. Completely random. Wow, 240 MI array ammo. Let's fix this up. And we're good. And like I said, I'm not going to bother with that jump loot. Okay, that's the first one. Oh, don't forget the weapon case. laptop missed that too. Alright, next, ladder up. And there is a med pack right here. And I want these two dumbbells for personal reasons. And the storage case. And the repair job to be done is right here. Okay, so that's two repair jobs done. Ladder up, med pack, storage box, that's it. Let's take the ladder down. Down, Chewbacca. All the way down. Okay, Mr. Laptop says there's a storage box at the end all the way on the right. All the way at the end on the right. Storage box right here. And it is an Argos jacketed jumpsuit. What do you freaking do? I wonder what that does. Plus five to health in O2. Oh yeah, and I wanna hook this up right away, the syndicate cattle suit. And let's do the final repair job, and we're good to go. Nia, it's a done deal. Thanks. That should get me home. All right. Um. Now, don't you think those outlaw ships uh, need to be dealt with? You're right. They were pretty beat up, so I don't think they got real far. But if they make it back to their hideout, I might never find them again. We can't let that happen. Alright, so just tell me where they're headed and I'll handle it. They look to be heading for Polvo's moon, Miatha. Good hunting. Alright, go to Miatha. So we have to get on board our ship first again. I'll be all the way to the top. Ah, oh, Baratina! Okay. <laughs> and let's disengage. Disengage. All right, we got a little dogfight coming up. Three ships. Typically, two of them are of a lower level and one is of a higher level, or the other way around. One is a lower level and two are at the higher level. What I want to do is destroy the two lower level ones and commandeer the higher level one, or destroy the one lower level one, destroy one higher level one, and then commandeer the final higher level one. And we're going to do that with um, destroy the ships 
with our particle beams, which are just devastating. And as soon as you get within about uh, 3,000 meters range, you should be able to start doing that. And then, as soon as two ships are down, we're going to quickly yank out the power bars from our particle beams and put them into um, our EM weapons. So we yank them all out, put them into EM, like that. And then we're going to go out to the final ship, um, target it, its engine in targeting mode, and disable its engine, and then commandeer it. That's the plan. Let's do it. Okay, I'm going to do a quick save here. All right. Let's get Mr. Map to show us where this is. Missions, Mr. Map. Right there. Get out of the way of their notification. I hate when they do that. Okay. I'm trying to play the game and we got this big label in the way. Okay, we got a level 10. They punch stuff together. This is the one I want. Level 12, that's what we're going to save. You ran out of luck. Okay, you first. Okay, that's next. Uh, level 12, we're going to save for last. You're next. Excellent. Punch of Chewy, let's get out of here. Pick everything up. And he knew what I was what I had planned, so he disabled my uh it's lock on, lock on, over to engine. Okay, watching that engine. Lock on. Okay, engine is down two bars. Down to down three bars. A little more. Target lock. Okay, he's been disabled. Now we can dock. That's right. Get right with your maker, because here comes Chewbacca. She doesn't take too kindly to being shot at. Okay, they're up here. It's this fire room. Okay, they're not right there. I just did that to make sure that we're like hovering right over the the hatch. Waiting to ambush me. You're dead meat! How ironic. <laughs> Hang on, reloading. No fair. That's what I'm talking about. Wait a minute. Are you done? Because I can do this all day. Alright. What do you guys got on you? Credits, 50 cal ammo, and a lawgiver. What kind of lawgiver? A 44 physical damage lawgiver, okay. Not to get excited about it. We do want a lawgiver, but one that does a lot more damage. How about you guys? 
Ammo and looks like a laser weapon. Ammo. A mag here. Let's see. Oh, that's nothing special. And the star room or balance pack. A balance boost pack, nothing you can get excited about. Okay, um this is rarely the case that this one of these ships has contraband, but you should whenever you commandeer a ship, you should always carefully check for contraband. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through this routine even though I know that this ship probably won't have any contraband. Oh, we got credits here. Well, that'd be useful. Okay, and what the hell is that thing? A paramagnum conductor? Huh, okay. Seems rather rare. And some gold. Okay, so just go through the routine and carefully checking around for contraband. I doubt very much there's contraband here. There's never contraband on one of these ships. And we're going to commandeer it. You have come, commandeered a new ship. If you land on a planet or grab jump to another starship, this ship will become your home ship. Any quest objects or passengers in your previous home ship will be transferred to your new home ship. Okay, very good. Undock. Let's bring it on home. Yeah, add it to our growing collection of ships. Okay, so the engine is completely trashed because we trashed it with our EM weapons. Um, this doesn't really matter because we just want to grab jump. So let's put some put some points into grab jump. There we go. This is not really necessary. We can fast travel too. Um, that's just a personal thing. I always like to repair everything before, um, you know, but you don't need to do that. I'll just forego that. Let's see what I do for you guys. <laughs> and down to New Atlantis. It's that course because we got to get. Okay, now what you could do, um, I didn't bother because I didn't feel like taking everything out of the cargo hold. What you could do though is load up everything on, like you have on your person into the cargo hold and see if you can get up to b about 75%, then you wouldn't have wasted that grab jump. But um, I didn't feel like doing that because I didn't feel like taking everything out of the cargo hold and reorganizing it. So I just kind of forego went, for, for went that, is that a word? <laughs> and we're landing at New Atlantis and we're gonna register this ship completely optional this is not required for the for the walkthrough so if you just want to destroy that last ship go ahead and do that but i'm just doing this for personal reasons hey what can i do for you hey and here's your new cat i'd like to view and sure. modify view and modify my ships one of your ships is not registered and it is an outlaw ship Look at the jump range on it. 28. This is the re one of the reasons why I did this. Like I said, it's not required for the walkthrough, but I do think it's a really good idea to try and do this. Although your your configuration for those three ships might be level... I have gotten level 4 and 2 level 10s. This time I got lucky. I got 2 level 10s and 1 level 12, but you don't always get that even at the exact same character level. I've been test like testing this uh, mission and it seems completely random. So I'm going to register this because I want this 
And it's only 8,000 credits, so yeah, go for it. And it's a done deal. Alright, and I'm just going to switch back to the uh, Razor Leaf. Make this my home ship. And we're good to go. That's it. And now we have to go back to Hopetown. Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. Next stop, go to Hopetown. Set course. Hang on, I just want to make sure that uh, my cargo hold is appropriately loaded up. Yep, still about 300. Um, I need repairs. Oh, I do. That's another thing. If you ever have the option to choose between spending a, ch a ship part to repair your ship or using the ship services guy, go with the ship services guy because it's cheaper. So tab out. Yeah, right here. And he's your new captain. You were able to land it, so I'm sure whatever is broken can be fixed. Okay, we can do the, the wise cracks. Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth. It's a hard day at the office out in space. All right, so next. Um, we're going to Valo. Let's not waste a jump. Approaching ship. You've entered Freestar Collective space. Maintain your current course while we scan for contraband. All right, that's it. Welcome to Hope Town. Thank you. All right, let's check on um, Astro Dynamics. Yep, that's maxed out. So let's pump a point into rank two. Okay, so now we have to make 15 grab jumps and payloads. Still need five more grab jumps. Very good. Hope Tech's marketing proudly refers to the ships as trucks in space. So when you buy a Hopetown ship, that means you can go space trucking. <laughs> space trucking, get it? <laughs> I got a million of them. I got a million of them. He's here all week, folks. Don't forget to tip your wages. Okay, so here we go. Hopetown. Oh man, it's really busy here, eh? Excuse me. We want your help. Nia! What's up? You made it. Those yep. outlaws didn't give you too much trouble, I trust? Nah. No trouble at all. Good. I'm sure it didn't hurt that I softened them up for you. Yeah, right. You've got good timing. A courier you just came in from Aquila. The Marshal sends his regards along with a briefing on your case. I was surprised as hell to learn about the starship theft. Nobody said a word to me about it. Anyway, Mr. Hope can see us whenever you're ready. If you need to take a little time first, feel free. No, nope, let's go meet him. His office is upstairs. He's in a meeting, but it should be wrapping up. Come on. Okay, you could follow Nia, or she could go straight, but she's gonna take like a long meandering route up the stairs. You could go straight to the back here. Open this door. Out here and take the stairs up. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. Uh, oh, yeah, and all the way to the end here and take the second set of stairs up. And I'll take you right to the guy's office. Here we go. And that will make Nia get up, up here faster. That's the guy we want to talk to, but we can't talk to him because he's busy. Those just open the door and make it easier for Nia. She's going to come up there. You see her coming up there. So what's going on here? Let's get down to it, shall we? Time is money. 
Now, well, now, talk to her. Dougal. I'm sure you can do better than that. You just need to apply some good old-fashioned creativity. You know how I built this company? By not spending a single credit that I didn't have to. I guess I could offer double shifts. It'll push payroll pretty high, but I think it's a worthwhile trade-off. As for parts, we could try outsourcing. Do a contract with scavengers, maybe, but that's a decision that's got to be made upstairs. Hmm. Well, talk to Elaine about the scavengers. It's not a bad idea, provided we get a good deal. And I don't mean a fair deal. I mean a good deal. Remember? It's not just our bottom line that matters. We're also responsible for the welfare of everyone in the factory. We look out for our people here, Birchett. That's a point of great personal pride. Um, excuse me, uh, Mr. Hope? Well now, the Free Star Rangers. At last! <laughs> <laughs> ah, damn, good to see you. I think we're done here, Birchett. Yes, sir. This is the deputy I told you about. Splendid. Splendid! It's a noble calling, being a Free Star Ranger. Mm, we certainly could use more of you. Let's get on with it. Yes, yeah, quiet you. We're doing a walkthrough here. Okay, so let's I'm go. I'm sure I don't have to tell you what an outrage it is to have a ship stolen right out of the factory. Justice must be done, and the sooner the better. Okay, so um, if you take the stairs up with Nia, she'll warn you to like be respectful to this guy. I try throwing sass at this guy all the way through, trying to like you know um, disable, if you will, the bonus you get at the end, and nothing happened. I still got the bonus, so I don't think that's related. So I don't really, I don't think it really matters if you throw any sass at him. But let's be respectful just to kind of, you know, you know, lick his boots. Um, I found your stolen ship on Monterra Luna. That's good news. I'll send my people over to bring it home. Of course, that doesn't mean your work is done. I want the thief found and prosecuted to the full extent of the law. I'm sure I don't need to remind you of my position on the Council of Governors. I can't resist. <laughs> I, don't, I don't give a damn about your position. You'd better learn some respect, <laughs> deputy. One dispatch to Aquila City, and I can end your brief career in the Free Star Rangers. All right, now, all right. Calm down. Calm your jets. Tell me that you've at least got a lead of some kind. Hmm? Okay, let's go back to respectful again. Um, yes, the ship was delivered to a group of men who were trying to acquire it. Of course they do. A group of, a, of course they do. A group of mercenaries hired a thief to steal your ship. I think this is going to piss them off too, but whatever. Well, I can't say I'm surprised. Sadly, there's no lack of mercenaries in the settled systems. I suppose the chance to cut costs by stealing a ship was too good to pass up. Well, I'm not sure I can be much help, but. I'll answer whatever questions I can. Okay, um, and he's not going to tell you anything useful. So I think we're done here. Very well. I need you to understand something, Deputy. This town is home to men, women, and children who depend on Hope Tech for a living. I provide jobs that put food on their tables and a roof over their heads. It's a responsibility that I take very seriously. If word gets out about the stolen ship, my investors will lose trust. And my workers will pay the price. I can't allow that. Right, so basically you're a dishonest man, eh? Okay, well, I can't make any promises about distract discretion. A ranger's first duty is to protect the people of the Free Star Collective. If your carelessness costs my workers their livelihoods, then you've utterly failed in that duty. I hope you understand that, Deputy. I'm sorry yeah, to I... interrupt, Mr. Hope, but there's been a development. 
Not now, Cosant. I'm in the middle of something. But, sir, we have new information. I've just received a report that the stolen ship was seen landing at Neon just after the theft. A breakthrough at last. Well, deputy, it sounds like you'll be heading to Neon. Which means I can get back to work. Remember what we discussed. Yeah, My okay. people are depending on you. Hey, can I get a word? Sure. I couldn't resist throwing sass at that asshole. <laughs> Keep an eye on your valuables. Hey, what's up? You protect your own. You don't belong here. That wasn't as helpful as it could have been. Still, yeah. at least you know where to pick up the trail. Yeah, it's enough to go on. Let's hope. So, guess you're headed for Neon. There's a ranger yes, station there. Name's Jalen Price. Jalen Price, He's got it. He's a little it. different than the rest of us. But a Neon's a different kind of place. Jalen Price, got it. He should be able to help you out. Well, we've both got work to do. It was good to meet you, Deputy. Thanks again for helping me out up there. No probs, no probs. Thanks for setting up the meeting. No problem. Good luck on Neon, Deputy. Okay, still got our bonus. So, uh... And one more thing before we leave. Hunker down here. Make sure you're blocking the line of, uh, oh, here he's coming back. You can still do it though. We're gonna get, steal this book right here. Solomon Coe's Cheyenne Trip Inventory. You gotta watch all the lines of sight. Make sure anybody, nobody's behind you. He sits down. Get down here. Make sure the line <laughs> of sight is completely boxed, blocked. Okay, do a quick save. See if you can pull this off. Yoink. Got it. Yeah. All right. And we're off to Neon, which is very convenient. Let's grab jump there. Not wait to grab jump. Final stop, Neon Core. Nice long video for you guys today. Want to challenge your instincts and hone those um, Oh, I already did this. My my bad. I already did this. I already got the book in the Emporium. So um last stop would be um Cheyenne. Jump there, so it's not waste of jump. Welcome to Free Star Space. We're gonna do a quick scan for contraband. You can be on your way. All right. And that's it. Enjoy Good. that Aquila City air. Yeah. <laughs> Aquila City. And we got some book business to take care of here in Aquila City. If you're lucky enough to find a book that Sinclair Books is interested in, you could bring that to her, but I wasn't, but you may. Um, we got that from Nia's ship there. And let's just uh, gobble down some amp. Let's crank up some amp. All right, punch it, Chewie. Okay, rushing into Aquila City. A bit up there, huh? Straight towards the rock. And straight here to the Co Heritage Museum. She had three or four books to give Hi. her. Hi, please Hi. feel free to have a look around. It's the reason I started this place. Okay, let me just make sure I'm well rested here. You can sleep in this bed back here. And heal up. 
everything you see here. I have artifacts here. that date all the way back to the time of Solomon Co himself. You don't say. Well, I travel a lot. I can keep my eyes open for things for your museum. There are some things I would kill to have. I mean, wait, <laughs> not literally. But I would pay a lot for. You see, the Co family lost a treasure trove of old historic documents ages ago. And those documents would be priceless to have here. Hmm, you don't say. Well, depending on how much a lot is, I'm interested. I'll pay far more than anyone else would, that's for certain. Jacob Coe and I have talked at length, and his great-grandfather was... a troubled man. He sold off various historic documents to cover debts. They could be anywhere. If you find any of that trove of documents, I will pay dearly for it. Okay, I'll keep my eyes open for them. And we picked up the Aquila City Charter. We picked up another book in the Lodge basement. We picked up a book from uh, the Pompous Arse in Hopetown from his desk. And we picked up, we bought a book at uh, the Emporium. That's four books that we could turn in for a pretty penny. Right, so I'll keep my eyes open for Thank them. Thank you. Think of the future generations that could benefit from seeing such important history. All right, so I found something for your museum. There you go. There's the four books listed. Let's turn them in for an easy 18,000 credits. Let me see. Magnificent. These are Solomon's calculations that he used to do his first solo grav jump here. You the don't data say. he gathered himself from his telescope in Wyoming. On Earth. Priceless. Hmm. Check oh, that out. 5,000 credits. This is Solomon's manifest from his first trip to Cheyenne. Every single thing he thought he might need. Wow. Oh, dear Lord. There you go. Another 5,000 credits. It, it still exists. Cha this is the original charter for Aquila City. And you can see their signatures. This is really the birth of the Free Star Collective. The core philosophy of limited government and inalienable rights. All here. Thank you. Minutes from Solomon Coe's first. Hey, wait a minute, we only got 3,000 credits Aquila. for that one. So historic. If you find anything else, please come back. There you go. Who loves you? Slack loves us, that's right, and don't you forget it. Alright, so that's good. Your visit. I made a lot of good XP for that, too. And we are done here. There you go, nice long video for you guys. Back in business. Thanks a lot for watching. My name is Major Slack, and I definitely approve this video. If you do too, please give the old Slackster a big old thumbs up, post a comment, and most importantly, subscribe to make sure you get all my videos hot off the press. Alright, that went by the numbers. That was really good. Alright, see you next time. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes, alright? Thanks a lot, really appreciate it.